Hi, I'm Amber. Welcome to my channel. I've not yet decided what it's going to be called, but by the time I post this, you'll know. Welcome to the Straw House. For a week and this is a airbnb which i will link below if you want to stay here too it's in carmarthen in wales so just as you come in through the big door with the lovely little stained glass detail you've got the kitchen we've got a little basket of snacks the fridge then we were supplied with loads and loads of cutlery and spices and all plates and things that we would need there's a huge sink here and all the water is supplied through a borehole and all the electricity is through solar power. We haven't tidied away our washing up, so ignore that. And then you've got loads of counter space and there are two big wooden chopping boards to prepare food. Then we've got a full gas oven over here, four burners. We've only used it a couple of times, but it's been really, really good. And we've got Loads of lovely counter space up here and a nice dining space for two. And then we've got the log burner, which is the only source of heat in the straw house, which we've just lit. We're not great at lighting it yet, but I think we've done a decent job. And a huge stash of logs over here. And then round here in one of the many windows, but I think this has to be the biggest window, is a really cute window seat. This is where we've been eating our meals and a nice little coffee table. So the door that you come in through faces the house that the Airbnb hosts live in, but to get some privacy, that door is completely solid. Whereas these doors are huge glass doors facing into a nice private garden area. Then there's this really cute chair, which we are using to store jackets. There's loads of little trinkets and details like this, which we think is an incense holder. So then you've got the day bed. So it's sort of a sofa slash bed. All of the edges here are super comfy and cushioned, so you can sit in it like a sofa. It's been really comfy so far, and there's loads of wooden surface around the edge, so we can charge our phones and put our drinks on the nightstand at night time. And then one of the last pieces of furniture is this stand. It's got a little shop in through here, which is actually locked, and then you can ask the Airbnb host if you want to buy anything like soap and books and scarves and things like that. One of my favourite features of this Airbnb that really sold it to me and that I had to stay in it was this skylight. This huge round skylight sits right in the centre of the wooden structure and it's just so fun just to lay here because you can see it from the bed and just look up through it and you can see some of the plants that grow on the roof which we will show you in a minute. And then through this door is the bathroom. So there's loads of storage space here for all of your towels and things, a full shower, a regular flushing toilet. Some more eco-focused Airbnbs tend to have composting toilets, so I was very happy it has a proper flushing toilet. A little bit of storage on this shelf. And then we've got a big sink. And round this corner is a little get ready area, a mirror, and hooks where we have been hanging our coats. One of the rules in the round straw house is that you can't wear shoes inside, which I'm very glad I brought some slippers with me. So this house is called the Harita Tara round house, and it is made of straw and wood. And I'll show you a little bit of what the inside of the walls look like now. So they've left this little square of the wall unfinished so you can see what the actual inside of the wall is made of. So there's straw, and then a thick layer of plaster, which is actually pink with glitter mixed in, which I think is really fun. One of the things we were unsure about when we first walked in was where we were gonna put all of our stuff, but this drawer under the bed is huge. <laughs> Showing you the inside, how about the outside? So out 
through the huge glass doors. There's a cute little private area. Over there, there's a little seating area and this cute archway. And there's a nice walk just this way to a private little pond. things we have access to at this Airbnb is a trampoline. The house is also right next to an active steam railway. So that was my tour of this straw roundhouse. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time for weekly videos. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the video. Ow. You okay? My shoes are all messed up. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> right. Ready?